webinar by Medicare Suppliers Network. Um, what is competitive bidding? Uh, CMS has created a competitive bidding program that will severely limit the number of medical equipment providers that you or companies that you, the referral source, can use to provide equipment for your traditional Medicare patients. This only deals with traditional Medicare. Um, it is a patient driven by the patient's zip code, and it only affects nine areas of the country for right now, and it only affects nine product categories that are included. The areas of the country that are included are listed right here, as you can see. The first one you'll notice is Cincinnati Middletown. Uh, it covers three states. It is not just limited to the city of Cincinnati or the uh, city of Middletown. Uh, here's the map of the competitive bid area. You can see in the areas that are all shaded, uh, that is uh, where if the patient lives in those shaded areas, that, that patient will be part of competitive bidding. It is not where you're located. It is not where the DME company is located. It's where the patient resides. and It's all driven by zip code. Here is the North Carolina, South Carolina competitive bid area. Here is the Cleveland Elyria Mentor competitive bid area. Here is the Dallas Fort Worth Arlington Texas competitive bid area. Here is the Kansas City Missouri and Kansas competitive bid area. Here is the Miami Fort Lauderdale Palm Beach County uh, competitive bid area. Here is the Orlando Kissimmee Florida competitive bid area. Here is the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania competitive bid area. And lastly, here's the Riverside, San Bernardino, Ontario, California competitive bid area. Again, wherever the shaded area is, if the patient lives there, they will be part of competitive bidding. It's not where you are or the DME company is located. It's all driven by the zip code. Now, I know what you're thinking. Um, folks, I know you do not take down typically the, the county or where the patient resides you usually take down the zip code, and that's what you're going to need to look up whether or not the patient's part of it. You can go to MedicareSuppliersNetwork.com, and on the home page, there's a, click, there's a link that will show you in just a second, so you can search for the patient's zip code. If the zip code is on that list, then you have to use uh, a contracted supplier, and we have a list for you. If their zip code is not on the list, then you can continue to use whoever you want to, just like you do today. Example, here's a copy of that. Here in the middle of the page on our home page is a competitive bid area. You would just simply click here. It would bring up an Excel spreadsheet with a listing of all the zip codes. Now, what you would notice, if you'll, if you'll notice, if you have a patient that resides in 28007, that number is on this list. So you would have to use a contracted supplier. But just in case you had a patient that was in, resides in 28009, you'll notice they are not on this list, and you can continue to use whoever you want. Now up here in, in the top of this Excel spreadsheet, you'll see non-mail order or mail order. There's one product category called mail order diabetic supplies. You will have to use the Excel spreadsheet that says mail order for that competitive bid area for that product category. Every other product category, use the non-mail order, and that will give you the, uh, the listing of the patient's zip codes. What products are included in competitive bidding? There's oxygen and oxygen equipment, standard power with your scooters and accessories, complex rehab. This is only for group two only. PTs and OTs, please check with your provider if they're providing a, the patient group three or above. You can use whoever you would like. Hill, uh, mail order replacement diabetic supplies are included. Enteral nutrition, uh, nutrients and supplies are included. CPAP, BiPAPs, and respiratory assisted devices and the supplies are included. Hospital beds and walkers along with their related accessories are also included. You will notice in the Miami, Miami CBA only, Support surfaces are included, group two mattresses and overlays. If you are outside of the Miami area, you can use whoever you would like for the, that product category, only for support surfaces. A couple of misconceptions about competitive bidding. A number of larger companies are informing referral sources that they must use their company. Not true. You can use any of the approved contracted suppliers, and you can find that list at MedicareSuppliersNetwork.com. Don't believe them that they tell you you must use them. A number of them are also telling them, that referral sources must use them for all medical equipment. Again, a mistruth. Go ahead and use them. You have to use them for those nine product categories that we showed you, and you can pick anybody on the list. And again, a list is, to, is at MedicareSuppliersNetwork.com. But if they want a manual wheelchair, is not, which is not part of competitive bidding, you can use whoever you would like for that. Um, one of the other misconceptions is that there's been a lot of information sent out about this. There has been some things published, but this is a large change. So, uh, so patients and referral sources are going to be very confused starting January 1st. That's when this goes into effect. You can direct them to MedicareSuppliersNetwork.com for any answers they may need. 
Another one is that referral sources have no choice of product. That simply is not true. You are allowed to put whatever brand you want on the prescription. The provider then has to either provide that equipment, they have to find somebody that will, or they're going to have to call you and, and ask you to change it. But you do have choices. So uh, we created Medicare Suppliers Network as a place to go for answers for referral sources and for consumers. We realized that this was a very confusing program, and we wanted to provide something that was simple and easy to use that you can get your answers. So you can go to MedicareSuppliersNetwork.com or email us at info at MedicareSuppliersNetwork.com, and we'll go ahead and get those questions answered for you. Here's just a quick overview or a quick view of the uh, homepage for MedicareSuppliersNetwork.com. Here you'll notice is where you can look up those zip codes. Another thing we created for referral sources was the equipment request form, so you can go ahead and get started with your order. Uh, essentially what would happen is you would fill out this information, you would come down here and fill out what products you want the patient to have. It can be either some Medicare bid products or non-bid products. You would hit the button that says next step. At that point what, what would pop up is the name of suppliers or approved contract suppliers in the area that can provide that equipment. If you'll notice, it's driven by who is closest to the patient. You'll also notice that a supply, it gives you as a default uh, the person that can supply the most equipment. So in this instance, Majors Medical Service can supply the hospital bed, the oxygen, and the walker, and they're only 12.6 miles from the patient. So you can use them for everything. Or if you would prefer to give the oxygen to Landmark, you can do that, and the walker to MetroCare, it's up to you. You click on Next Step. And what will pop up is two sheets, two PDFs that you can print off. One is the first one that has all the information as, as far as the fax cover sheet. The next one has the patient's information, plus all the necessary information they need in order to start the process. The great thing about this is you can print this uh, second sheet out or both sheets out. You can give a copy to the patient so they know who will be calling them. But then you can fax at this point. The process starts and your patient is going to be taken care of. And you can put this in the patient's file uh, for documentation reasons. Uh, that is the end of this seminar. Please remember to go to MedicareSuppliersNetwork.com. It was created to answer your questions. And if you'd like a copy of this presentation, please uh, send us an email at info at MedicareSuppliersNetwork.com. Thank you very much. Have a great day.